Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is my second big old box of stuff, or as people fondly have come to know it as Bobos. As you can see, this is the Bobos robot who is the mascot for Bobos. Get a good look? Yes. And that looks like it was hand drawn on there, which I figure that would take a decent amount of time, so that's some dedication. But at any rate, uh, the last box was a nice one. I uh, quite liked it, so very, very excited to check this one out. Um, I know a few items or uh, a few um, topics that will show up in here. One, Rob did say that he would get me a Twin Peaks item, something Twin Peaks. I'm not expecting much, though. I know there's not a ton of Twin Peaks stuff out there. So even if it's just like a magnet or a button or whatever, I'm going to be psyched because I'm a huge Twin Peaks fan. And especially with the show about to restart in May, uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, the other thing I know is a, well, I won't say it. I'll say it when when it shows up because it's a spe specific, excuse me, specific thing. And I'll talk about it when, when it actually comes up. But here we go. My second Bobos. I'm hoping it holds just like the first one that it's really awesome. Um, also, the other thing I want to say as I cut this open with my trusty little letter opener. That's what they call it. Um, one thing I wanted to say is that we... Uh, uh, is that it's awesome that Rob um, and Rob Rice and the Bobos family actually not only take the um, questionnaire, they don't just do the questionnaire that's online, but also if you put up any sort of unboxing videos on YouTube, they're going to find them and they're going to watch them because the very first unboxing video I did, Rob found it, watched it, commented on it. And that's when he said there will be a Twin Peaks item coming your way. And then he commented and later and said there will be something else. And that's why I know that there's another. Oh, whoops. I didn't cut this all the way. Ugh, guess I should have done that. It's too excited, you know. Um, so I really like that aspect because there's even more of a um, aspect of knowing the people who are really doing this for you and feeling like they know you and they care. Um, and that's one of the really cool things because a lot of the subscription boxes that you can do and uh, collectibles boxes, not much of a personal feel to it. So that's nice about this. All right, going to get into this. And this box is uh, bigger and heftier than the last one, so I'm very interested to see what happens. Oh, there's stuff right on the top, but I want to take this out first. And then, uh, feels like a magnet and a button on the top. So I'm going to do the button first. Oh, I love this button. Oh my God, I love this button. Uh, come play with us, Danny. It's the twins from The Shining. Love The Shining. Oh, let's see if I can get you to see this without much of any glare. No, nope, there's gonna be plenty of glare. You can see it all right though. Let me, there you go. Yeah, that's a cool button. Uh, I love The Shining, big fan of The Shining. I actually saw The Shining in the theater back in October because there's a company called Fathom Events and they do like older films. They bring them back to the theater for like one or two nights and they were doing two nights for The Shining and um, I was able to go for one of those nights. Totally changes the experience of the film. I was a fan of The Shining prior to that. I loved The Shining after that experience. The Seeing it on the big screen gives it more of an immersive feel as does any film, you know, seeing it in the theater. But that works particularly well because the the actual uh, hotel is a character in, its, uh, in itself in that film. And when you feel like you're inside of it, basically, because you're in the theater and you can focus on it more, you can see more of it, you can feel more of it. It's just, it's life-changing. If you ever get the opportunity to see it in the theater, life-changing when it comes to that film. So, anyway, back to the box. I got sidetracked. Cool button. Very cool button. All right, the magnet. Oh, another good one. Another very good one. And I've been meaning to re-watch this because it is a really cool older horror film. Stephen King's It. So, got a little bit of a Stephen King theme going on here. Totally fine with me. Love me some Stephen King films. I uh, haven't really... I don't think I've read a single thing by Stephen King, though. Maybe I should. I don't know. I understand that his writing style is a little mm, iffy. Uh, with with if people will actually like really like it or not, just because it's kind of um, it, 
you have to have a particular taste to like his writing style but the stories are obviously great next thing feels like a book feels like a book check this out i like the idea of books oh my god <laughs> this is it this is the twin peaks item and this is cool this is really cool i love this i knew about this and i had thought about getting it because i was like oh it's a little extra content about the original twin peaks it's the secret diary of laura palmer with a foreword by twin peaks co-creators mark frost and david lynch and i love david lynch um so awesome very very cool secret diary of laura palmer super super awesome i wonder where he got this i mean it looks like it was once at a library because that's one of those like you know library code things from there so i guess they sold it off because not enough people were reading it or something but uh, this is so cool um like i said i had thought about getting this at one point so rob you man you and the fam you guys are that's good that's three good items i'm very happy already the next thing is wrapped up and i think this is the thing i knew about that he told me let's see oh no oh, oh i love it i love it i love it so much i love it so much so if if you've been watching any any other videos that i put on here i had been unboxing some horror mystery minis and i did series two and series three uh love those things they look so good so Rob was able to track down a Series 1 Mystery Mini, and it's one of the ones I really, really, really would want from Series 1, and it's hard to find Series 1. It's Ash. It's Ash Williams of Ash vs. Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead fame. Uh, and Bubba Hotep, if you watch Bubba Hotep, and a few other films. But, God, how good does this look? Look at it. There's like splatter on there, the blood splatter, the saw looks great. He's got the shotgun strapped to his back. I mean, the detail in these things are amazing. I'm so excited to have this. Because Rob had posted and he said that he got me a Series 1. And I was like through the roof happy when I found out about that. I was telling my wife too, I was like, Rob said he tracked down a Series 1 mystery horror mystery mini. And I'm so psyched, I wonder who it could be. And I looked at all of them and I was just like, honestly, anyone it is, I'm going to be excited because they were really cool. But this in particular, because I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan. I love Bruce Campbell. And especially Ash vs. Evil Dead has been such a great show. Um, so <laughs> this is great. This is going in front of all the other horror mystery minis that I have downstairs for display. Oh my god. This box is killing it. This box, I can't even believe that it still goes on. Like, that's the nuts thing. Ah, Smarties like last time. Like Smarties. I'm a fan. When I need my little sugar uh, fix. What is this thing? This feels weird. I don't know what this is. It's like kind of heavy, a little metal. Oh, sweet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so great because if you also watch other videos that I have on my channel, I do beer reviews. And so... Rob and fam have hooked me <laughs> hooked me up with a Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees bottle opener. That is so cool. I'll be using this. I'm going to use this to open uh, many bottles of beer. It looks great, too. It's heavy. It's like good metal, like nicely made bottle opener. That's nice. This is... I can't believe there's more in here like to be to be honest like i'm already psyched with that i cannot believe there's more oh my god i think it's just like two more items feels like maybe a pack of some sort of cards in here oh fangor mm, fangoria collect horror collector cards i didn't know fangoria did anything i love i mean obviously i love horror stuff might as well open it uh i don't want to keep it shut because too many people watching would just be curious, like, what's in there? So, oh, okay. So it looks like a lot of it is, some of it's, like, extra stuff, but uh, extra photos, but a lot of it's photos from the um, the covers of Fangoria magazines. I'm not a huge Fangoria fan, but I am a huge horror fan in general, so some of these things are cool. We got that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, original. Oh, no, not the original fly. The uh, remake fly. 
cool. All right. Yup. Oh, a gremlin. All right. Nice. Huh. The Shining. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff. That's cool. Those are funny. If I'm going to get... Typically not big on packs of cards, but if I'm going to get packs of cards, horror is... That's fine with me. I like that. I'm a fan. And... Oh, God. Yes! I have a friend who has one of these, and I'm now excited to also have one of them, because I'm a... I love this show. Who doesn't freaking love this show? Breaking Bad! And it's Walter freaking White. Oh, my God. What a show. And what a, what a character, and what a great job Brian Cranston did playing that character. I'm sorry, the uh, the glare on it's kind of rough, but as you can see, it's Walter White. He's got a gun in his hand. He's got his bag of money. He's got some uh, sunglasses that you can put on him, too. I will not be taking this out of the box because, I mean, it's, it's a cool figure, so I'm going to keep it in as a collectible. Oh my god, I can't believe, this is a nuts box, man. This box is crazy good. This is, I was going to say probably, this hands down is the best, like, subscription type box I've gotten, period. That's it, this is the best one. That's amazing, love it. And there's something else, Jesus, how? How is there something else? Oh my gosh. This is cool. I, I didn't even know this existed. This is really cool. Uh, this community protected Neighborhood Watch. And the Neighborhood Watch is the family from the che Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a metal plate. Like one of those ones that you can either drill into something or you can, you know, find a way to like tape it up or hang it up. However, like sticky putty, whatever. This community protected Neighborhood Watch. Look at them. I'll get in closer on actually them. Look at it. There's the fam. Very nice. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool and funny. So that was, I don't want I'm not going to say that was it. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. I really did not expect this much stuff, but this is really cool. Um, I like all of it, but what a, what's my, what am I most excited about? Obviously this, the, even though this is a very small item, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about because it's hard to get these and it's Ash. <clears throat> God, Rob, thank you. Um, I love it all. The Walter White is really cool. And blown away by the diary, I was like, what What type of Twin Peaks thing is he going to get? And I thought, maybe like a, a button. I was thinking it would probably be like a button, maybe a magnet, but that's way more involved. And the amount of time that that's going to give me of revisiting the Twin Peaks world as I read it. It's so cool, man. The It uh, magnet, very nice. I'll put that on my beer fridge in the basement, which is where I put the last one, which Nightmare on Elm Street, I believe. Uh, the pin, or I'm sorry, button. Very cool uh, shining button. Like I said, love the button. The guy gets me. He watches my videos. I need to crack some beers, and I need to do it horror style, so... That's great. Man, this is so cool. <sighs> Bobos, I'm a fan. I'm such a fan of Bobos. I can't wait for my wife to get home so I can show her what I got. She's going to be blown away too. She's going to be like, wow, that's a really great box for you. But anyway, I just feel like I'm gushing so much. I really can't thank Bobos enough. Um, it's great. If, if you are out there watching, you've been on the fence about Bobos, I think this kind of speaks to uh, why you should uh, purchase some Bobos. But know that it's limited to 300 per month because, uh, you know, they need to be able to keep up with it. It's just a family of three. So, you know, that's what happens. But uh, they've really caught up on their backlog because they had a backlog for a little bit. And this showed up relatively fast for, for what I was expecting. So you guys are doing an awesome job. Uh, people, if you're on the fence, just get a Bobos. It's 100% worth it. Um, I'm going to be uh, signing up again. Um, it may not be like immediately, but maybe next month or in a week, or maybe I won't be able to contain myself and it'll be tonight <laughs> or in a day or two. I don't know. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Thank you, Rob Rice and your family and Bobos uh, doing it right. I'm going to go put this Ash Williams figure downstairs and just marvel at it. Thank you so much, everyone. And don't forget, keep it brutal. Sorry, real quick, needed to add. <laughs>
I'm sorry, real quick, I needed to add on um, that I found another button. Um, I was just about to get rid of the box and it was like all the way up in the corner. I didn't, you know. So I found another button. So that wasn't all. As, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Uh, Dawn of the Dead button. Very cool. Look at that. Oop, get some of that. Ah, Dawn of the Dead or the original. So cool. Love it. Another awesome thing. But anyway, I'll let you go. And for the second time, keep it brutal.